Welcome everyone to the first episode of Home Theater Gurus. Just a little teaser of what we're going to be going over today. We're going to do a uh, speaker placement of the bed layer. In some future episodes, we're going to go over toe-in. I'm reading all this off of a piece of paper right here. Using room mode calculators, room acoustics, what type of speakers uh, need to be treated in what way. Like we're going to look at the on and off axis responses of the speakers. And that's going to help us determine what treatments to use where. We're going to go over the biggie for everyone, multiple subwoofer setup. I've had a lot of requests to make videos. I've got a compilation on AVS that people look at it and it kind of blows them away. It's a lot of new stuff that's new to them. So we're going to go over Room EQ Wizard, how to use that, room mode calculators to determine where we need to sit, what room modes we can fix, what we, which ones we can't. So we definitely want to stay out of the ones we can't fix with the multiple subwoofers. We're going to go over where to sit uh, as far as your screen size. If you're at this distance, how big does my screen need to be, you know, according to THX recommended viewing angles. And then a lot of that's going to be personal taste too, but it just gives us a guideline. And it's also going to flow into speaker placement. We see problems with people putting mains behind a screen and the screen may be 40 or 45 degrees wide and the speakers don't even meet the tolerance on the width of the mains. So, going to go over the Odyssey app. That's a really, really neat feature that Dinon and Marantz have put out that really kind of raised the bar for those receivers where you can cut off the frequency that you want to EQ and only EQ the modal frequency and not touch your speakers. And this is really important if you have a good room and really nice speakers that are accurate with good on and off axis. So we're going to learn how to really, really, really use that and how to set everything up in the receiver and all the different settings. And I'm sure I'm missing a lot of things that I'm, I'm going to be covering that I want to cover. But uh, if you have anything, just leave them in the comments down below. Don't forget to hit that notification so whenever I, another video hits, you'll know it. And also, if you have any questions or comments, just leave them down there. Don't forget the like button. So let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and get started. So let's move my seat here. So here we have a room that's 14 by 18, and this is to scale. So every inch is going to be a foot. I've got a tape measure. Here we go. All right. Now, if you look at the Dolby specs, the mains are supposed to be 22 to 30 degrees apart. Now that's off of the center line right here. So zero coming through the room is the middle, the middle of the front wall usually. So your mains need to be 22 to 30 degrees off of this line. Now if you look at Trinov, their manual uh, for their altitude, Trinov is like the pinnacle of home theater processors. $30,000 but it is like the, it's the best. They refer you to a PDF for Dolby and when you open that PDF you're actually going to see that their recommendation is actually 22 to 40 degrees. And that makes a lot of sense and we're going to go over why. Well, we'll go over it now. When you have two speakers, well first let's place our couch. Let's go ahead and place our sofa at 11 feet. Okay, so we're going to go at 11 feet for the head. So there we are. Let's place two speakers in the room. Now, the closer these speakers get to, to each other, your sound stage gets smaller, your stereo imaging gets smaller, and you get almost like a sound bar effect. And that's basically what you'll get if you get too close together as a fancy sound bar. You want to separate these. This gives you more movement between left and right. Your stereo imaging is going to just get much, much larger and more immersive and it's going to sound like the room is filling up this entire wall it's going to sound larger than the wall so the wider you get the bigger that effect gets the closer together you get the smaller that effect gets so 22 degrees off of this center line is also 44 degrees apart now we're going to go off of that because that's going to give us our total width so we want our mains to be no more or no less than 44 degrees. Uh, Alright, so the first thing we need to do is put a line. <clears throat> so the first thing you need to do in your room is get a piece of string and go, or a piece of yarn. Go from the front of one speaker to the front of the other. Now you're going to go from the center, because you're going to have toe in probably, or your speaker should be towed in. You're going to go from the center of the speaker to the center of the other speaker and you're going to put a line in there. 
Now this, like I said, yarn, whatever works. And you're looking for this point right here in the center of the room where it intersects. And that's actually gonna be the distance we're gonna use. So let's go ahead and scoot our chairs back 11 feet from that point. Okay. So our head is 11 feet from that point right there. Now if we wanna find 22 degrees, we're gonna take this distance away from this point and we're gonna multiply it times 0 0.80. And that's gonna give us our distance, let's see. So 11 times 0 0.80 is 8.8 .8 feet apart. Okay. All right, so right around there. Okay, so we've got these speakers at 44 degrees apart. Now, we do want to be a little bit wider than that. We really want them at 53 as our minimum. So 53 is really easy. It's a distance away. So if we were 11 feet from this point, our mains just need to be 11 feet from the center of one to the center of the other. Okay, and that's about it right there. So this is really gonna be where we wanna be for our min minimum. Now 60 degrees, if we wanted to find that, we would multiply this 11 feet times point, I'm sorry, times 1.15. So, 11 times 1.15 is 12.65. Now I'm not sure if we can get 12.65, let's see. Actually, okay, we can, just barely. All right, so that's about 12.65, so that's 60 degrees apart. Now if you notice, what that's gonna do is our surrounds are at 90 degrees in a 7.1, 5.1, they're gonna get pulled back a little bit, but this gives us 60 degrees here, another 60 degrees to this point. So zero, 30, and 90. If we go smaller or closer together with our mains, we're widening this gap right here to we have a, gr we have a greater distance we've gotta cover. So when objects are panning around, they're actually gonna to begin to drop out, and we don't want that. If you've got 70, 80 degrees to cover right here, because your mains are right up against your TV, or you got your mains stuck behind a projector screen, and they're way less than the tolerance, or even getting close to that 44, you're gonna start having issues with it dropping out. So we wanna keep them nice and wide, keep our sound stage as wide as possible, and get the best sound possible. Fix our wall here. All right, so now, our surrounds, because right now we've got a 5.1, or we're gonna do a 5.1. If there's a wall here, or we've only got a foot or two behind these couches, we don't have room for readers. So, for our surrounds, Dolby Specs 90 to 110 degrees. So to find 20 degrees, which would be that 110, which is 20 degrees off of this 90 right here, we're gonna multiply times 0.35, or the distance from this point times 0.35. And so that distance, now remember we're going to the front of the baffle or the front of the speaker. That's where the sound is coming from. And we're gonna call it six feet. So six times 0.35 is 2.1 feet. So we need to move this speaker down. So you remember you're gonna be cutting across right here at 90 degrees. We're gonna go 2.1 feet. And we can measure it, let's go ahead and measure it. Okay. All right, so this is 110 degrees. And actually, to the front of the baffle, not right here. So, and we're gonna angle it. We're always gonna angle our speakers towards our main listening position, and we're gonna go over that later too. Now, if that's a little too much for you, don't forget, I mean, it's 90 to 110, so it's anywhere in here. And if you wanted to find 100 degrees, you just, this is two feet, just cut it in half, it would be a foot. So that would be a 5.1 system. Of course, your center is going to be here too. All right, 
but and the purpose of this is to fill this gap in right here if you've got uh, something behind you they're gonna it's gonna be mixed in both of these surrounds to try to pull the object behind the couch pulling these back right here is gonna help do that it's gonna kind of help give a more convincing believable feel like there's something actually back here and if they were over here at 90 degrees in a 5.1 it just wouldn't be the same you so said that's why they're pulled back a little bit so but now we're going to go to a 7.1 Alright guys, I screwed up during editing. That's why I've got a new shirt on. I'm having to redo the section on rears. So, okay, we just got our 5.1 and now we're going to add the rears. Now when we do that, we're going to bring our surrounds back up to 90, which closes this gap back up to 60, which is where we want to be because remember these are 60 degrees apart. Now this is 60 degrees apart. So the rears, Dolby specs the rears to be between 135 and 150 degrees. So an easy way to calculate that is to use this line here. So we know this is zero, this is 180, 90, and this is 270. All right, so we're gonna use this 180 line here. So we're gonna take 180 minus 135, and that gives us 45 degrees and the 45 degrees is going to be equivalent to the 135 degree angle. So all we have to do for that one, because it's 45 degrees, is distance away, which is 5 feet, is going to be distance right and left. So we'll come off of that center point, 5 feet, and place our rears. Okay, now the only problem with this is if you look at this gap right here, if this is this is 90 degrees right here. If 60, 60, 60, bam, 90. And then right here, we're what 40 45 degrees right here because this is at 45 and this is 90. So we actually, if you look at the the other tolerance, which is the 150 degree tolerance, is 180 minus 150 gives us 30. So if we were to move these into 30, now our rears are 60 apart, and the distance or the amount of degrees between the surrounds and rears is also 60. So now we've got 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60. Now everything is nice and even, and we've broken that pie up really well. So to calculate the 30 degrees off of this line, we're gonna take the distance away, which we've already determined in this instance. Remember we're going off of where the speaker baffle is, the front of the speaker, that distance is going to be five feet. So we're going to go five times 0.57. And that's going to be 2.85 feet. So almost three feet. So that's going to put our rears right around there and now we've got a 60 degree difference between all of our speakers okay that's rears I almost forgot about wides actually I did forget about them so I'm going to go back and edit this in so wides which we don't use a lot because DSU or Dolby surround up mixer doesn't support wides but if you do want wides, the tolerance is 50 to 70 degrees. So the way we're going to find that is we're working with this wall here. So we're going to use this as a reference. So 50, so this is our tolerance, 50 to 70. 50 minus 90 gives us 40. So we can go 40 degrees off of this 90 degree line and 70 minus 90 gives us 20. So anywhere between 20 and 40 degrees off of this line here will give us the same thing as 50 to 70 off of this line. So, but anyway, trust me, this is just the way it works out. So if we want to find 50 degrees, we can come 40 off of here and that's going to be the distance away times 1.19. So again, we're still six feet away from our baffle. We're going to multiply that times 1.19 so 
six times 1.19 is 7.14 feet forward. So again, off of this 90 degree line, right here. So this is where, now we have to angle this. So this line right here is where the center of our speaker, speaker needs to be once it's towed in towards the main listening position. Let me kind of bring that out so you, you can see it. So, about like so. So that's gonna be for our 40 degrees. Now for our 20 degrees, we're gonna take that same distance away from this, from this baffle right here, the front of this speaker, which was six feet. Now one thing to kind of keep in mind is this speaker is not towed in, it's already angled at the seat. When you tow this in, you are bringing this center, this acoustic center towards the wall a little bit. So that's actually the point we would use. So it may be a few inches in, you would have to measure that in your room. Kind of put the speaker about where it needs to be, angle it and see how far it is off the wall. Find that point here and then measure back to it. So for this though, we're just gonna use our six feet so for the 20 degrees, it's gonna be distance away times 0.35. So six times 0.35 is 2.1. Now you'll notice we were also 20 degrees off for our surround and we also used 0.3 off here too. We were just going this way. So 2.1 feet forward. <clears throat> So right about here. Okay. So you got a pretty big tolerance. You can be anywhere up in here. And next week we're going to go over the Atmos tops and also the rear heights or front heights and rear heights because those are actually Atmos speakers too that we can use if our room is set up in such a way where it just makes better sense. So we're going to go over that next week.